What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're gonna go over how to add dark mode to your app so that it matches what the user's phone dark mode settings are. So this will work in both Android and iOS. Uh, as always, I'm going to be showing you on the iPhone. Uh, so right now you'll see we are in dark mode. The main things that changed are the top header and footer, uh, the icons, color changes, the profile changes. Um, you also notice this custom widget right here, the text changed in it. Uh, now if we switch over to light mode, which we can do right here, and go back into our app, you'll notice it loads right back into that light mode and the custom widget's text changes as well. Uh, having this custom widget here, the text change is actually not as simple as, as basically having the rest of the app change. Um, and that's kind of what this video is gonna cover. I will say right up front, what this will not cover is allowing you to change the app from dark mode to light mode within the app itself. It is always gonna be based on the settings of the user's phone. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start by opening up main.dart and in here you'll see we already do have our theme set. So right now we have our primary swatch as just being blue and the theme has uh, nothing other than just a font set as well. So this theme is gonna be the light theme by default. So the next thing we could do is actually add a dark theme here. So to add that dark theme, we would just call dark theme and then we're going to just give it theme data very similar to how we're giving the light theme. So just like that. The main difference here that we want in these two themes is obviously uh, the light theme we want to be light. And to do that, we actually have to set the brightness level. So we can call the brightness parameter on this, and then we can set it to be the light brightness. And then similarly on the dark theme, we can do the, the brightness being the dark. So that at its simplest is actually going to work for us. Um, you'll notice when I refresh the app, this actually turned to dark mode. Now the reason for that is because I had previously already set this to dark mode. Uh, if you if you go to the home on the simulator, and this should work on either on either Android or iOS, if you go to the developer, this is how you do it on iOS, you go to developer, you can choose dark appearance right here. So if I choose that back, now we're in light mode, and you'll see if we go back into the app right now, that's actually not the app, this is the development one we're working on, you'll see it is light mode right now. Um, and now if we were to go back and change this to dark mode, you'll see that it is updated to dark mode. So it's really just that simple to get the basics of light mode and dark mode working. Now there are a few things we are gonna to wanna to update. The first thing you might notice is this text here is not actually set to a dark mode version, um, as well as really all the colors on the app. So this is looking good, these buttons look okay. Um, the, but if you want actual custom colors and custom widgets to be working in dark mode, for instance, this one right here, we're going to need to set those colors a little bit differently. So you'll notice uh, if you find where this color is being set, and I'm just gonna use this widget as an example, but throughout the whole app, all these things will need to be updated anytime you're using like text colors uh, explicitly. If you go in, find where that is in the view, and this is gonna be in the uh, home view, uh, we can find where this is being called. And you'll see right here, these containers are using explicit colors here. So that is like the background color there. Uh, right here where it says create your first trip, we can see we're using colors dot white here. So that's why that is not changing. I'm gonna show you how to use colors, how to set color variables for the whole app and then use them with provider throughout the app. So this is actually relatively simple as well. If you go to, we're gonna create a new file and we're gonna do this under our services. So just do a new Dart file here and we'll call this custom colors. So with the custom colors, we're gonna first import material and then we're going to create this as its own class. So with this new class, we're actually going to create a constructor for it that takes one parameter being that brightness. So it's going to be of type brightness and we'll just call it brightness. And this brightness is either gonna be the dark or light version that the app is, uh, we actually need to define brightness up here as well. Um, but this brightness is going to be uh, either dark or light. So we can use this brightness to actually uh, decide what to set our, our color variables. 
so we can do that with just a simple if statement. We can say if the brightness uh, is equal to brightness dot dark, then we're going to set our variables equal to some value in there. Uh, if not, that means we're going to assume that it, it is the light mode and set them the, val the values in there. So we're going to do, for right now, we're going to do just uh, two colors. So let's do, let's set color here and we'll do text one and we'll do the primary color here. That's probably fine for now. Then we can just set these equal to a certain value. So text one, when, when we are in dark mode, we want that text one to be uh, a dark color. So we're going to use this color right here, which is actually basically black. You can see the color pops up right there. Uh, then for the primary, we can set this equal to that darker blue that we're using, which is actually this color blue right here. You would you would really put your all of your color scheme in here, but I'm not going to do that right now in the video. But basically then in your light mode, you can have the same variables, exact same variables, but you can use different colors. So for instance, text one can actually just be white. When we're in dark mode, we might want to invert this. Actually, when we're in light mode, we would want this blue color to be this blue color, right? So then when we're in dark mode, let's say we want to make that blue color a little bit darker, kind of hard to tell, but it is darker. Uh, the way this color format works right here, the uh, the last six characters here is the hex code of the color. All right, so moving on, we now have this text one color and this primary color that we can use throughout the app. So if we go back to our main page here, we can actually call that those colors and put them into our provider so that we can use them throughout the app in the provider. So first thing, let's actually go ahead and update our provider, which is in the widgets, and let's require it to take that, to take a color, actually to take colors, we'll call it colors, um, and then that's going to be required by our provider, and that's all we need for that. So basically, we're going to right here have a colors variable and that colors variable is going to be the basically an instance of that class that we just created to do it real quickly we can just call custom colors and then we can actually right now we're just going to pass it brightness of being dark uh, you'll see we have an error here because we did not actually import that uh, if you click this over here it'll import the package for you that's kind of something i actually just realized which is super helpful so this looks good for the colors now we're not actually using this colors yet in our app so let's go ahead and do that so we can just see that this is working and then we'll work on making this pass the actual value of light or dark depending on what we're set at so go back into where we have our create your first trip so instead of actually calling color white explicitly we're going to call it from the provider so this is very similar to how we call our auth from the provider. So we're gonna use provider.ofContext and we can call that colors uh, parameter that we just added to it. And then from here, we can actually just call any of those um, values on the color. So text one was one of the colors. So we can call that. All right, so now when we save this, we're actually gonna to have to rerun it so that that provider will, will get will pull in the value, the new value for colors. But when you rerun it, you'll see that the text is black now. There is a few things we need to do to actually make this work correctly. All right, so instead of passing directly brightness.dark here, we're going to actually change this and use the instance of the windows brightness. So to get that, we can actually call widget binding and then instance window and then platform brightness. Uh, and then if we rerun this, you'll see uh, this is working. And if we are to change this to actual light mode now, uh, and then if we go back into our app, uh, you'll notice that the app changed to light mode, but our text did not change to light mode. Now, if we rerun the app, it will change to light mode for the text but this is not exactly what we want. I mean, it's okay functionality, but uh, really we want these custom colors. We want this custom colors to change when the brightness of the system's darkness, brightness value changes. So it's actually a relatively simple thing. We can do that with the, uh, we can use a binding observer to basically set this color value here. And then we can listen for when the the screen's brightness darkness changes. And then, or really it's when the platform brightness color changes. And when it does change, then we can update the colors variable here to pass it that 
that value. And then since we're doing this in the provider, it'll actually just update only when that's changed. Basically what we need to do is first convert this into a stateful widget. So in the app state itself, we're going to actually also add a width here and then add the widget, uh, the widget binding observer. And this observer is what's gonna let us listen for the state change of of the of the phone's actual dark mode or light mode. Um, so firstly, we can add the init state for this binding observer, and this is a this is kind of boilerplate here. So I'm just gonna paste it. Uh, basically, it's just this just starts the listener, and it will dispose of it when it, when we're done with this uh, with this widget. Uh, the other thing we're going to want, and this is the main one, is we're going to we're going to add that did change platform brightness. All right, so there's that. So this is actually going to trigger whenever we, whenever you know the, whenever we change that dark mode, light mode, on the actual phone itself. So here's where we want to set the state of this colors, this colors variable right here. So we're going to extract this out and we're going to set it to a variable called colors, or whatever we, whatever name you want to give it. Now very at the very top of this state here, let's go ahead and just define that variable colors. Um, and again, that will just be the same thing. When we first set it, it is going to be whatever the brightness is. And then when we're when we get when we trigger this down here, which just means that the phone's brightness was changed, we're going to set the state of that to equal. Uh, essentially, we're just going to redefine this variable. Um, so we want it to equal the same thing, but we just need to reset it because this platform brightness will have changed to something different. Um, so now if you do that and you rerun the app, you'll see we're in light mode now and the text is white. And now if we go back and change the change it into dark mode, and now we just go back into the app, you'll see when it reloads, it is in the dark mode and the text is now black. All right, so these concepts here are essentially all you need to get your app to work in light mode and dark mode. The main the main thing here is you're going to want to use any color you use within your app, you're going to want to set it as a variable in here. And then just like we did with that text, uh, that text color here, use your provider of that text color. And then throughout your whole app, whenever you change it from light mode to dark mode, you'll be able to use this value here. One other thing you can do, if you wanna know if you're in light mode or dark mode within your code, like for example, if we wanted to make this animation uh, like a night animation and have it be a moon instead of a sun, and you wanna change like a very, uh, like a much larger piece of your code, uh, like for instance, this whole container, if we wanted to give it a whole different container, you can tell the theme of your app by using a uh, media query, similar to how we're using the media query for the size here. I'll just print this out to show you. You can use that media query and then you can call the platform brightness on it. So if I am to run that, you'll see right down here, it prints uh, brightness.dark, which is what we're in right now. Like if you wanted to change bigger pieces like this container, you could, you could wrap this in an if and say, if you know brightness.dark uh, is true, then use this one, else use a different container. So that's something else to note if you're using that throughout your app. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. All right, ciao for now. <laughs>